Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing all right. Today, we are going to check out how to recreate jQuery's toggle class method, and then you can kind of figure out add and remove class methods off of this. Um, we're going to see how to do that with React. So uh, I've definitely been in a position before where I'm like, all right, how do I add or remove this class? And uh, I always find answers whenever I'm Googling stuff that's like, oh, you just use the toggle class method with jQuery. But what if we're not using jQuery and we don't want to load up that whole library or just if we don't want to use jQuery at all? So here's how we can do it. I've just got to create React app here. Um, we're just going to be using the app.js and app.css. So I can get rid of this div. I'm going to make a header at the top. I'm going to get rid of logo and I'm going to bring in use state. I'm going to make the piece of state that I need. I'm going to call it active. And the updater is called set active. I'm going to set its initial state to false. So active is false. Inside of my header, we're going to have a button. And depending on if active is true or not, it's either going to say x for close or menu to indicate that there's a menu there. You could, of course, get fancy with anim animations. You can use hamburger menu icons, whatever, but just uh, trying to show you how to make this happen functionally, and then you can go off and make it look nice afterward. The button is going to have an ID of menu toggle and an on click handler. which is going to set active to the opposite of active. So this is flipping it back and forth. Uh, let's see how we're doing so far. So menu, I click it, there's the X, cool. So it is flipping back and forth. So this is similar to toggling because I'm able to flip it back and forth with this exclamation point here, this not operator. Um, this simulates toggle class in jQuery. So underneath the button, I'm going to make a nav, and its class name is going to be dependent upon active. So if active is true, it's going to have classes of nav and active. And if active is false, it's just going to be nav. Then I've got an unordered list with some list items, each of which has an anchor tag with an href going to nowhere. And we could just make these up. So let's do uh, home, ab about, contact, and sign up. Cool. So we've got that, looks hideous, but whatever. We're worried about functionality, not design at this point in time. Um, okay, so just to kind of clarify what's happening here, uh, we haven't um, styled it yet, so you're not going to see anything aside from this menu and X here. Um, but if we take a look at the inspector and we inspect this element, you can see the nav class is nav. Um, menu is indicating that active is false. If I click on this, keep your eye down here on the nav class, you can see now that it's nav active and it flips back and forth. So we are toggling that class based on the state of active. So now we're going to actually use that for something a little fancier than just changing the text on here. So let's hop over into app.css. We can delete all this stuff. First, we can target our um, nav class, and we'll give it a display of flex, uh, line items, center, and justify content, center. Give it a height of 100 viewport height. We are going to give it position fixed. 
a background color of blue. Um, we can give it, uh, we don't have to worry about color. Let's do uh, a width of 100%. Let's see how we're looking so far. All right, that's pretty sweet. All right, next, we are gonna target the unordered list and just remove the margin. We're gonna target the list items inside of that UL and give them a list style type, list style type of none. We're gonna target the anchor tags and we're gonna do text decoration none. Let's give them a margin top of one rem. Let's do color white and let's do font weight bold. And then let's do font size um, three rem and see how that looks. All right, cool. Next, we wanna put this button in the top right. So typically this is what people will expect, especially like on mobile when you're using something like this, uh, like, a, like a hamburger menu or whatever. So, um, we're gonna target menu toggle, which remember that's the ID of the button menu toggle. We are gonna position that absolutely. Top zero and right zero, which will stick it in that um, upper corner here. We'll see it here in a second. We'll give it a width of 10 rem, a border, of two pixels solid black, padding of half a rem top and bottom and one rem side to side. And then to bring it forward so we can actually see it, we'll give it a Z index of 10. And there it is, cool. So now what we wanna do is um, when we have active, we want to we want to show this, and when it's not active, when it's just the nav, then we want to hide this. But we want the button to always be visible, and that's why we positioned it absolutely. So how we can do that is we can transition, transform, transform x. Excuse me, not uh, transition, transform, translate x 100%. So that's going to move it 100% of its width to the right. And so now it's off the screen, but that menu is still here. Notice because this, we're targeting um, nav. Nav is now off the screen. You've taken 100% of its width and translated it to the right 100%. Um, and that's just talking about this stuff. This button is positioned absolutely. And so it's uh, relative to its um, parent container, which is this header. Okay, cool, but I'm still not seeing it. What do I do? Well, this is where that nav active pair of classes comes into play. So if we do dot nav and then dot active, we can transform translate x back to zero. And so now it pops back up on the screen. Now I said that we weren't concerned with style on this, but this is even still a little bit jarring. So what you can do is something super simple to make it um, a little bit easier to kind of get you started on your styling journey here is uh, just put a tr uh, transition and we can do like 500 milliseconds. Um, transition, transform, 500 milliseconds. And so now it's gonna look just for the transform property and that transition is gonna take half a second. So now it's got that nice slide method, which is pretty nice. Um, cool, so super simple setup um, in utilizing uh, React's use state hook to simulate the toggle class method. So the 
class that we're toggling on and off is this active. And because we are looking for um, the state of active, whether it's true or false, we're kind of taking a roundabout way and saying like, all right, we're either going to have this class or we're not based on the status of this piece of state. So hope that was helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and give the video a like and uh, subscribe, uh, if you will, as well. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time.